The Digital Atlas of Drungarvan is an interactive map that explores the built heritage of the town. It can be accessed from any digital device, including mobile phones, tablets, laptops and desktops. A series of tutorial videos have been created to show what can be revealed about Dungarvan and its history when you explore the layers of the Digital Atlas. Navigating the maps using the historic map layers is the second tutorial in the series. The aim is to help you understand how the historic map layers work. The Digital Atlas of Dungarvan includes a selection of maps that have been published in the printed atlas, Irish Historic Towns Atlas No. 30, Dungarvan by John Martin. You can see how Dungarvan has changed over time by looking at maps from different periods and observing differences between them. To view the historic maps, click on the layer widget located in the top right hand corner of the screen. A list of all layers included within the digital atlas will be displayed. Some of the items are ticked. Click on each tick once to remove it. This switches off the map layers that are currently displaying. Once you've removed all the ticks, you will notice that all the coloured points on the maps have been, map have been removed and you are left with a modern map of Dungarvan. This is our modern base map. Underpinning all the other information in the Digital Atlas, it is a modern large-scale map created by Ordnance Survey Ireland. All of the other maps and points that are displayed in the Atlas have been arranged to align with this map of present-day Dungarvan as closely as possible. You can zoom in and out to identify features using the tools introduced in Tutorial 1 video. If you are using the map on site in Dungarvan, you can use the My Location tool located under the Home bot button to the top left hand side of the atlas. The digital atlas will recognise your location and the map will zoom to where you are. To return the map to its starting point, just click the Home button again. The layer list includes both point layers and historic map layers. In this tutorial, we will focus on historic map layers, while we will discuss point layers in tutorial 3. The historic maps are located in the second half of the list. You can view them by ticking them on and off one at a time. First, tick the box next to the key map 1841 to 51. This map will be overlaid on the modern base map. It is a specially digitised map of Dungarvan in the mid 19th century. It is based on the Ordnance Survey and Valuation Town Plans of the same date. You can use the zoom widget to zoom in and out of the map and see the detail. Click on the I widget to see the legend that accompanies the key map. You can click to see the modern base map under the key map 1841 to 51. You can also make the map semi-transparent. You can change the transparency of the map and any other map in the atlas by clicking on the three dots next to the map title within the layer list. A drop down box will appear, click on transparency. You will see a transparency slider showing opaque to the left and transparent to the right. There is a marker midway along the bar. Click on the marker and slide it to the left and right to see how this changes the transparency of the map layer. Move the transparency slider until the map displays in the way you wish. Adjusting the transparency in this way allows you to see how the urban fabric of the town has changed over time. Play around with the layers, switching them on and off and adjusting their transparency. Look at several maps simultaneously to understand more about the town's history. Other maps included in the Digital Atlas of Dungarvan are displayed in the layer list. The historic town plan of Dungarvan was, was surveyed by the Ordnance Survey in 1841, created at the large scale of five foot to the mile. This map is very detailed and allows us to understand the layout of Dungarvan in the pre-famine period. The map is part of the Ordnance Survey collection held by the National Archives of Ireland. The next two layers are taken from the Valuation Town Plan. This map is based on the Ordnance Survey Town Plan, but has additional information added by the Valuation Office from 1851. Two sheets cover Dungarvan Town west of the Colligan River, and they've been joined for the Digital Atlas. The second sheet shows Abbeyside, 
the area of Dungarvan that lies east of the Colligan River. This original map of Abbey Side splits north and south. So again, this has been cut and joined for the digital atlas. The valuation maps were created in 1851, but they are working maps, so they do include later information, which we need to be careful about. Viewing these in conjunction with the 1841 town plan allows us to see how the town can, has changed during that 10 year period. These maps are held in the Valuation Office collection in the National Archives of Ireland and have been used here with their permission. Two Ordnance Sur Survey map layers are also included courtesy of Ordnance Survey Ireland. These are the OSI historic six inch map, which was surveyed in 1841. And the Ordnance Survey 25 inch map surveyed between 1904 to five. You can practice working with the map layers by going to the Digital Atlas of Dungarvan for yourself. Further information on these maps and a transcription of this video are available in the user guide and sources document, which you can download from the link at the top of the Digital Atlas of Dungarvan homepage. Or if you want to try something new, take a look at tutorial three, sites and themes, working with point data.